Miami is a fun, vibrant city known for its art and culture, but it can be expensive. This is Katie from Creative Travel Guide, and today we share 15 free things to do in Miami. Looking for more travel tips? Make sure to hit subscribe and ring that notification bell. So firstly, we have the beaches. Miami is known for its beautiful beaches and luckily for budget travelers, they are free to access and enjoy. South Beach is one of the most famous and iconic beaches in Miami, offering gorgeous white sands and turquoise waters. There are also plenty of hotels and restaurants nearby, making this a great beach to spend a whole day on. North Beach is located north of South Beach, offering a quieter, more relaxed atmosphere, whilst the Hallover Beach Park is a clothing optional beach. Then we have the Art Deco Historic District. Located in the heart of Miami's South Beach, the Art Deco Historic District is a unique neighborhood to explore and one of the popular free things to do in Miami. The district includes over 800 historic buildings, showcasing architecture and creativity from the 1920s and 1930s, but also hosting cafes, boutiques and restaurants to explore. Another free thing to do in Miami is Windward Walls. Anyone who appreciates art will love the Windward Walls, an outdoor street art museum that features street art by both local and international artists. This is a free thing to do in the city, so enjoy the urban art gallery that truly showcases creativity and innovation. Then we have Lincoln Road Mall. This is a pedestrian only shopping and dining area in Miami, perfect for those wanting to people watch and window shop. There are also live street performances throughout the afternoons too. Another great place to explore is the Bayside Marketplace. Bayside Marketplace is a waterfront shopping and entertainment complex with live music, street performers and beautiful views of the bay. You can, of course, browse without spending money, but we do recommend taking advantage of the local eateries in the marketplace. And then we have the free art walks. Beyond Windward Walls, Miami has a thriving art scene with several art walks and districts available to explore. Luckily, many neighborhoods host free art walks so you can appreciate various street art and creations on a free tour. Coral Gables Gallery Night is the first Friday of every month, or you could take the first Friday art walk in Little Haiti. Then we have the Museum of Art and Design. Yes, Miami is full of art, so top off your time in the city with a visit to the Museum of Art and Design. With free admission every day, the museum showcases art from emerging and recognized designers and artists. The permanent exhibit is located on the first floor of the college, highlighting Cuban artifacts from the 1960s. Then we have the Everglades. The Everglades is a huge wetland that is a must visit for those in Florida. Yes, you can pay to take a tour to the Everglades, which includes a fun airboat ride. We will leave the link for that in the description below. But did you know that you could visit here for free? The city of Homestead is around an hour drive from Miami and from the historic downtown area of Homestead, you can jump on a free trolley ride that takes you straight to the Everglades National Park. Yes, this isn't technically a free thing to do in Miami itself, but this is definitely a cheaper alternative for those wanting to see the impressive Everglades nearby. If you would rather take an airboat, you can save money by getting yourself the Go City Miami Pass. We will leave the link in the description below. Then we have Bayfront Park. This offers a beautiful, peaceful green space with walking paths, waterfront views and the iconic Bayfront Park Amphitheatre. It's a great place to relax and enjoy the scenery and of course it is a free place to visit in Miami. Then we have Little Havana. Explore the vibrant Cuban culture in Little Havana. You can wander around the neighborhood, visit the Domino Park and enjoy live music at various venues without having to spend a penny. Next we have Vizcaya Museum and Gardens. While the main house has an admission fee, the gardens at Vizcaya are free to explore. They are beautiful and offer a serene escape and is another free thing to do in Miami. The Institute of Contemporary Art is another great place to visit, offering some innovative modern art from local and international artists. Again, the museum is free to enter and you can also take a free guided tour if you have a group of five or more and you book two weeks in advance. 
Another great place to visit in Miami is the Miami Beach Botanical Garden. This tranquil garden in South Beach is free to enter, offering lush greenery, sculptures and a peaceful atmosphere, giving you a great place to escape the bustle of South Beach, Miami. Explore the butterfly garden, stroll along the peaceful paths and appreciate the tropical paradise. Another great thing to do in Miami without spending too much money is the hiking and nature trails. Many parks in and around Miami offer hiking trails and nature walks. Escape the city and take the trails to enjoy the great outdoors, with Crandon Park being a popular option near Miami. And then finally, we have South Point Park. Donated by the government to Miami Beach in 1979, South Point Park is a quieter waterfront area at the southernmost point of South Beach. Enjoy a picnic in the park, watch the water boats pass by and enjoy the gorgeous beach here. Families can enjoy the playground here, but also make sure to stroll the 450 foot long pier to appreciate some great views of the city and the marina. Watch this video to find out the things to know before you go to Miami. Then to find out about the 10 best places to visit in Florida, watch this video. We hope you have an incredible time and stay creative.